Welcome to the Catamount Football Spring Practice Show. I've got Coach Matt Land. This is Bill Mayo. Coach Land, talk a little bit about uh, spring practice. What's going on right now? Well, we're excited. We've got our freshmen over. We've had a good week of practice with them. We started our varsity practice. We've got to get these guys out here and kind of begin to knock a little rust off. I think the big thing is the guys are just excited to not be doing something inside our, our turf room or the weight room and uh, to finally get out and play football instead of just thinking about football. Talk about goals for spring practice. Every year you have to replace some key players. You're looking for some young guys to step up. What are the goals for the team for this spring? Well, I mean, we lost six uh, key people on our offense. We have eight starters we're replacing on defense. The good thing about Dalton is that, you know, we play a lot of kids. We're going to play 30 to 30 you know, two kids on a Friday night. So we've got kids that have experience. It's just a matter of finding the right group. You know, we talk about, like, we're in the secondary. We've got five secondary guys. Well, we're trying to find the right fit of the right five in the right five places. Uh, we've got that same situation in the backfield. We're going to be young in our backfield this year. Offensive line, you know, we've got some young guys, but we've got really good size that we've not had maybe in a while. So, you know, as always, there's, there's, there's obstacles. There's things you're trying to find. But at the same time, I look out here and see a tremendous amount of uh, of wealth. We've got some fine young men that have worked hard and now it's time to see how well that offseason work comes out. Talk about what it means when you see one of these young guys that was in a backup role last year playing JV or playing freshman and you see him starting to step up and starting to develop into a varsity football player. How rewarding is that for you as a coach? Well it's very rewarding because you know the things that the things that we talk about uh, on the field and the things we talk about off the field you know until you get out here and strap them on it's all theory. You know, it's just kind of like working in a lab. A lab's a lab. It's real life. So, you know, we've been in the lab, uh, and now it's time to get out here and see what these guys, how they work together. But the young guys are particularly exciting to me because most of them just have a passion. They have an excitement. They have an appreciation of being able to be out here. Uh, and I like that because I think that's contagious. I, I think some of these old guys that have been around here a long time, they see these young guys getting out here and getting after it and seeing that you know, guard get you know, 20 yards down the field trying to hit that little wormy free safety, and they get excited. So I'm excited to watch these guys. I know the coaches are excited to see these guys. And you know, it's going to be fun watching them as they mature through the summer and on into the fall. One of the things that Dalton's been noted for for a long time is the stability in coaching staff. And um, I think had one assistant coach, Charles Mitchell, took a, 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 a an administrative job in That's Tennessee right. Right. and had one new coach come on the staff. Talk a little bit about the coaching responses coaching responsibilities this year? Well, it'll be very similar to last year. Uh, you know, one of the things that, that we've enjoyed at Dalton uh, forever uh, has been uh, a, just a, a great continuum of our, of our coaches. Uh, this is a great environment to coach. It's a great environment to work. Uh, professionally speaking, uh, you know, we, we are encouraged to do the best. We're challenged to do the best. And we've had great men that have been in these capacities. Uh, one of the good things about uh, one of the good things about you know Dalton High 
is the fact that uh, when you look at our staff, and I was just today just kind of walking out here on the field and, and, and looking at guys that, man, you got guys that have been here 10 years, 20 years. You've got guys that have, I've got three coaches on this staff uh, that have been head coaches. Uh, and so the wealth of knowledge and wisdom and coaching technique uh, is unbelievable. We do have a new coach this year on staff. Uh, Pete Wilson has come in as an a, as a assistant quarterback coach. He's also going to work some with our middle school, which will give us a little bit of a transition between our middle schoolers being quarterbacks and coming up into our varsity program. Uh, Coach Napier is our uh, is our offensive coordinator. Coach Carpenter is our defensive coordinator. Jim Bennett is uh, back as our assistant head coach. And, uh, uh, you know, when we look at the rest of our coaches, yourself on the line with Coach Jordan, uh, Coach uh, Parker out with wide receivers, uh, uh, Coach Martinez with the running backs, and then on the defensive side of the ball, uh, Coach Thompson is coaching in the secondary, uh, Coach Pollard helping with the linebackers, and, uh, and then Coach Cole Bennett on our line with Coach Older Coach Bennett. So as you can tell, we got a mouthful. And of Coach people. Sparks. And and well, and I was about to say, and yeah. then our last thing is, is heading up our 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 freshman team is going to be Coach Steve Sparks. That was new to our program last year. Kind of worked as an uh, just an assistant for us last year, but this year he's taking the head coaching job for our freshmen. Uh, and I'm more excited about that than probably anything because I know those guys need that kind of attention. We're committed to that kind of attention for these guys. We're the only team around that really has a freshman team. Uh, so we want to see these guys play as quick as they can as fast as they can and as soon as they can. And uh, so those are our objectives, and we feel that if we continue to work in that with the coaching staff that we have, uh, we feel like you know we get these guys to play in a lot sooner. Well, very good. Well, let's take a quick break. When we come back, we'll, be, we'll visit some of the assistant coaches out here at spring practice. My name is Brandon Dale, I'm a junior, and I did some running in the off season along with the weight training. Got my weights up and looking forward to this football season. I got just gotta keep working hard and doing passes and I feel like our passing game is gonna be good this year. Alrighty, my name is Cole Calfee, I play quarterback and I'm a junior. Uh, this off season we've had a, uh, a bunch of large gains in the in the weight room. I know that a bunch of guys have gotten stronger. A bunch of guys we're looking at uh, this this couple two weeks we have to do spring practice where Looking for some guys to step up and fill roles that uh, were vacated by seniors last year. And um, even in the two days we practiced, we've kind of filled some of those roles, I believe. But uh, we've worked hard in the off season, and this, we've had a lot of fun these first two days. And we're looking forward to the rest of the weeks. Um, going into the summer, we're just looking to work on our conditioning and really be able to play fast for next year. Um, really, you know, we decided with the with the days we lost um, in the preseason, we needed to use these spring practice days as kind of jumping right into where we left off last year and just getting ready for the season as opposed to taking you know slow steps so we're already you know going full scrimmage running plays and stuff so you know everything's looking good we're just going to work real hard this summer running throwing defense doing their schemes and everything and we're just looking forward to the upcoming fall football season Welcome back to the Catamount Football Spring Practice Show, and I've got Coach Bill Napier, offensive coordinator. Coach Napier, talk about your goals for the offense this spring. Well, you know, one of the big things is for us to really have good ball security. Our, our running backs, our quarterbacks, and receivers uh, to, you know, really realize just how important that is and how quick that can get us beat. That, that's one of our main goals. We want to also, uh, you know, have a 
a good retention from last fall. Come out here this fall, uh, recall the terminology that they began to be used to last year, uh, that, and then obviously we want to be have a competitive nature when it comes to uh, all of our spring drills. We want to uh, exhibit, you know, competitor, you know, that guy, to be that guy that wants to win every snap. And uh, so, you know, that that's about all uh, the kids can get fired up when it's just spring ball and no opponent at the end. So that's no trouble much. So uh, if we can get that done with a good attitude, I think we're going to feel good about it. How about developing? I asked Coach Lynn earlier, t talk about de developing young players and kind of the reward you get when you see these, some of these guys that were backups last year, now they're stepping into these starting roles and, and contributing roles. It's really amazing how, how far they can go in six or seven months. You know, they're at that age where they're, you know, they're aging, they're maturing, they're working really hard all the time and just to help Mother Nature along, you know. So sometimes we come out here in the spring and we just can't believe how, how much somebody's uh, progressed over the winter. And, uh, you know, I think all coaches experience that. I think, uh, I think they do. I know I do. And, and it's really – Gives you a good feeling, lets you know that their hard work's paid off. Um, we always have high expectations for the kids, and and those that are are welcoming that, you know, uh, really uh, gets me fired up. And and th there's a certain advancement involved in that. If they hadn't put the work in and matured some since last year, you know, maybe they're not exhibiting that quality yet. So we're looking for that. All right, very good. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. And we'll be back in just a minute with more coaches interviews here on the Spring Football Show. I'm Leighton Reese, I'm a senior. Uh, this off season we've been working pretty hard in the weight room, you know, working out every morning and getting stuff done. We've got a lot of strong people this year. And spring practice, we're looking pretty good so far in these two days. We've got a bunch of guys learning their new responsibilities and, uh, you know, just getting after it. You know, we've been scrimmaging a lot and full pads, full speed, I like what I'm seeing. And, you know, the next, the coming up year, I'm, I'm thinking we're going to be pretty good. And I think that this team, have a whole lot of uh, success if we keep working hard as we will. Coach Land's doing a great job out there um, coaching us and everything. So, uh, My name is Andrew Williams. Uh, I'm an upcoming ninth grader. And uh, I guess I could say that it's actually an honor to be out here with all these guys that I'm playing with. I mean, I don't really know them, but I hope to get to know them, you know. Uh, it's real hard and difficult, though. My name is Jace Chastain. I'm an upcoming freshman at Dalton High. I, I, I'm so happy that it's finally my chance to be a catamount and get to play for Dalton High. It's just the tempo is amazing and getting to come out here every day and practice in the spring. I can't wait for next season to be in my chance to get to play on Harmon Field. Welcome back to the Catamount Football Spring Practice Edition. I've got Coach Adam Martinez, who's the running back coach. Coach Martinez, talk about your goals for your position guys this spring. Well, you know, uh, being a running back is, is not all as glorious as they think. Uh, you have to be tough and 
uh, ball security is really important for us and uh, getting in the right position, that's really important. And then uh, we have to block a little bit and uh, we, we've been uh, known for that. And uh, hopefully this year we'll be able to develop some young guys to do that. And you had some guys out doing various things this spring, so you really had to bring on some young fellows and work with them. How is that working with guys that maybe haven't even played a position before? Yeah, you know, it's uh, it's it's football 101, and uh, just uh, trying to teach them the holes and, and what their job is, and teach them our rules and uh, what we have to do to, to be successful at what our position. Now you have one other key important job with the Catamounts, and, and I make fun of you all the time, but it's a, it's a tough job working with Coach Bennett and, and being in charge of the equipment. Talk about that responsibility. I mean, you've got 100 guys out here you're having to outfit and take care of. That's a lot of work, isn't it? Yeah, it takes probably more than me and Coach Bennett. But, yeah, every day uh, we check uh, their equipment, make sure they're, they're properly equipped, uh, want to be safe, take care of our kids. And uh, we check helmet cleats, uh, whether or not they need jerseys, we wash for them. Uh, it's, it's an ongoing process. It takes a team of people. We rotate as far as coaches. Uh, what, uh, when I get here late, he takes, takes over, and then I, uh, I do the same for him. I think you make a great t a point, too, about the safety. I mean, it's so important for you guys to, to check their shoulder pads and their helmets and their cleats uh, to keep them safe on the field, uh, right? It's, uh, uh, you know, you, we've, we've visited other colleges, and uh, our equipment's second to none. Uh, we get it re refurbished, reconditioned, recertified uh, every year, and uh, we're, we're very fortunate to do that. And, uh, Safety is a key. Uh, yeah, it's a collision sport, and we want to uh, we want to be violent when we do it, but we also want to be safe. All right, you did a great job of teaching Trey Bonds and Trey Beck all those moves for the last four years. We're looking forward to a couple more thousand-yard running backs. No pressure. Me too. <laughs> We're back here with more spring practice in just a minute. Hey, I'm B.J. Rowland. I'm a senior this year. Um, yeah, ever since we lost our last game last year, we've been uh, wanting to work hard and get better. This offseason, we did a lot in the weight room. We uh, got up early in the morning, uh, busted our butts off in the weight room, and um, got the job done. And uh, we just, a lot of kids got stronger, a lot of kids stepped up, and um, we're doing a lot better this year. As of, as of last year, um, we're stronger, already stronger than we were last year. We got a lot of new leaders, and uh, this spring's been real fun. We've uh, come out and um, We've uh, you know, got a lot of team bonding going. Uh, we've gotten into a few uh, scuffles. We've gotten into a lot of contact, and uh, we're having a great time out here. Um, our coaches are doing an excellent job coaching every one of our positions up and um, getting that really uh, team aspect of it going. And um, I thought that's what's going to take to have a good season this year. You know, come fall, once we uh, bust our butts out here and work hard, we um, we're gonna I expect to see a real good season, and a lot's going to come from the season when we work hard. All this the work we put into it. Uh, I'm Ethan Fromm. I'm a senior. Uh, this off season, we've been working really hard and get stronger and faster and bigger because last year we were lacking in the strength wise, so we're trying to all look bigger. And then this spring, we've all we've jumped into it pretty hard here. Uh, we're hitting pretty hard the first two days out. And everybody's ticked off at everybody. We're all having fun fighting each other, and it's having a really good time. And to get ready for this fall, we just need to get more aggressive. Just be a team that likes to knock knock each other out and knock the opponent out harder, and I'm just getting ready, and we're looking forward to it. All right, here with Coach Kit Carpenter, defensive coordinator for the Catamounts. Coach Carpenter, talk about your goals for your defense for this spring. Well, the goals for the defense this spring, Bill, is uh, we really want to get guys flying around. We've got new kids in new positions, and we're trying out some new things, and really just to fly around and have a good time. I think one of the things that you do during spring practice that I've noticed is you do a little bit. Of, you guys do a little bit of experimenting with personnel, but also with fronts. Talk about what what you get out of that and how that helps you during the season. Well, it helps uh, give our guys a different look and allows them to learn how to adjust when we go back into the season and they get something that they're not used to seeing. They know how to adjust to it. Now you just had a big event in your family. Talk about that a little bit. A, a, a new addition. I did. I, I just had a daughter, O.C. Pope. Uh, so now I'm, I'm have two children. A little boy and a little girl. And, and, and O.C. Pope and I share the same birthday, so I know she is going to be an outstanding young lady. She is, as long as she doesn't hold. We're we'll good. <laughs> talk, talk real quick about the position coaches you have working with you this spring. Uh, well, we've got uh, Coach Keg, who, who's, uh, who played here and played under us, and he's here. Coach Cole Bennett, he, uh, he also played here. Uh, we've got uh, Jim Bennett, who's been around here, gosh, forever. Uh, Coach Thompson. And sometimes we still coach land. All right, very good. Thanks, thanks for your input. 
We'll be back with more spring practice in just a minute. My name is Will Irwin. I'm a junior. Uh, I'll be a senior next year. Uh, I play tight end. And off season, we've been in the weight room, getting bigger, trying to get ready for next year. And I think it's been a pretty great experience so far. I think we've gained a lot. Spring practice has been good. We've had decent weather. We've got a lot accomplished. It looks like we've got a lot more accomplished than we did last year. And uh, we're going at it hard and just trying to get ready for next year. I'm Robert Hardaway, I'm a senior, and uh, for me the offseason's been really good working in the weight room, working uh, agilities and stuff, and just as a team I know we're getting better and faster, getting stronger, and uh, especially just the fundamentals, working on everything has been great. Spring practice for me this year has been uh, really just a leadership experience, uh, really knowing what it's like to try to lead a defense and hopefully doing a good job, and I know all the other guys are they're just getting after it and we're just having a good time and just getting better. I'm here with assistant head coach Jim Bennett. Uh, coach Bennett, this is your, probably your about your hundredth spring practice you've been to. Talk about uh, your goals for, for your guys and your position this spring. It's only 37. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, and 20 here, I guess. All right. Uh, we've got a lot of young guys on the defensive front. We've uh, we graduated some good kids, but uh, enthusiasm been great. We've done a lot of technique work, and, uh, really polished our tackling, uh, emphasizing that. Uh, and we've had some young kids that have stepped up, and uh, I'm excited about this group. Yeah, one of the things I think that that is interesting for me to say, and I've talked to a couple of other coaches about it, and I know it's something that means a lot to you, is the development of the young guys. When you take a guy that was a backup last season, and now you're getting him into a role, into a position where he's going to be a starter and a heavy contributor, to talk about that feeling a little bit and how that makes you feel as a coach. Well, you know, that's, that's what education is all about, is you want to see kids succeed, and, and, and it's really special when, when, when you take a kid that maybe doesn't have the most ability in the world, but he, he, he gets the idea and grasps what we're doing, and the light comes on, and, uh, you know, it's a special thing. And uh, we've been very fortunate. We've had some kids that, you know, have been in the program and stayed with us, and then all of a sudden their senior year, uh, the light comes on, and, and they have a great year for us. So uh, that's one of the big things in coaching is, is you see those guys succeed. I had your protege on earlier, Adam Martinez, in the equipment room. Talk about you're, you're the chief equipment guy. That's a huge job when you're looking at these number of kids. Talk about those responsibilities a little bit. Well, Coach Martinez, uh, I, I enjoy having him because he likes to do things that I don't like to do. Uh, and I'm, I'm bringing him along, getting him ready. But, uh, you know, we've probably got 125 kids out here all together, or have had. We've had a few uh, that didn't make it back. But, uh, you know, uh, that's a lot of kids. Uh, and, you know, my job, and I tell them when they come in, it's, it's not how the equipment looks, it's how it fits. Uh, and once you get that point across, uh, you know, they kind of understand it. Uh, but it's a challenge, but uh, we've been able to, uh, come into the computer age, it's, it's been tough, but uh, you know, I've, I've got things on spreadsheet and know who wore what last year. And so when our varsity kids showed up, their helmet and shoulder pads were in their locker, and it was just a matter of going back and checking and fitting them, and it um, didn't take long at all. Just off the top of your head, what do you think it costs to outfit a guy from top to bottom? What would you say? Just a quick number. Uh, between six and eight hundred dollars, depending how, on how big the kid is. How much has that increased in the last 20 years? <laughs> it's doubled. At least double. At least double. Yeah. 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 So de definitely, but but obviously key safety feature. We, we we try to have our guys outfitted and be as safe as possible. Well, I, you know, my theory, and, and I talked to Coach Land about this. You know, uniforms are good. We like to keep uniforms simple, and I'd rather spend money on helmets and shoulder pads and than jerseys and stripes on pants and stuff like that. So, uh, you know, our our I, I make it a point every year to visit equipment rooms and and other and colleges and. Um, you know, our equipment is, is as good as anybody's playing in. Uh, so, you know, I take a lot of pride in that. Very good. Well, thank you for everything you do. And we're, we'll be right back with more Catamount football in just a minute. Brandon Painter. I'm a senior this year. I'm number three. And uh, this spring practice has been pretty good so far. We started out kind of quick. And um, this offseason, we just need to work harder in the weight room like we did in the offseason this year already. 
during the summer and everything else, working on passing and camps and all that kind of stuff. And um, everybody just needs to get bigger and ready to go. So uh, I'm looking forward to camp, where we go this year, and um, just to see what happens, because I know we're doing a lot of new stuff this year as far as our passing game and stuff like that goes. And um, we're just ready to see where we're going to camp at and stuff like that. And we're ready. Um, uh, hi, my name's Ryan Young. I'm going to be a senior this year, and I'm number 49. And I was, uh, I was really excited about the offseason this year. We definitely progressed a lot in weight. We definitely got after it in the weight room. It was a really exciting time for us. And uh, spring practice, it's been really exciting so far. We've learned a lot. It's um, just a whole lot of new stuff being put in and a whole lot of, um, lot of intensity. And we're definitely um, expecting to do well this season. And over the summer, we got a whole lot more work to do, but we're definitely expecting uh, you know, the best for the season. And we're going to come out, we're going to come out firing. I'm Lyle Durham, and uh, I'm a junior. And this offseason has been going really well. A lot of it's been uh, improving in the weight room, getting faster. Spring's been tough, but uh, we're getting better every day out here and just can't wait for the season. And this team, I feel like we can go as far as we want to and as hard as we, we want to work. Uh, Nathan Bryant, um, this offseason we just worked really hard. We implemented some new like tools and stuff on, in the work, weight, weight room, and we got like a lot stronger, in my opinion. And our goal was just to get a lot bigger this year. And, I think we're doing a pretty good job of it. And uh, this spring practice, we've just been trying hard and just running and just hitting hard and just having some fun out here. And then in the summer, we plan on just uh, working out every morning and then just hoping to get bigger and stronger every day. And then in the fall, hopefully we'll do good and just play well. My name is Drake McCowan, and I'm an upcoming freshman. And I'm really excited to come to high school playing football for the Countermounts. It's like really fun and it's like high intensity. It's hard hitting and it's painful, but it pays off and practice makes perfect. I'm honored and I cannot walk, wait to walk out on the field and play for them fans and families out there. And it's going to be really hard work and a lot of fun. Thanks for watching the Catamount Football Spring Edition Show. We'll be back in the fall, same cat time, same cat channel.